Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. I'd like to speak about a book that was launched recently called Writing in the Sand by Matt Garrick, and it's the story of Yoppa Yindi. It's a, it was a wonderful and significant moment uh, when this launch took place because you had Yoppa Yindi current and former band members who were there in force, along with their families. Uh, the famous band, so well known and loved, achieved what no one had ever done before them. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about them through music that combined traditional Manake, Vilma and Giraki with contemporary rock and roll. They shared the stories, language and culture of Yongo from northeast Arnhem Land right across Australia and the world. Yopi Yindi had started as a bunch of Yongo and Balan playing rock and roll together in the top end in the mid 80s. And they ended up touring this country and the world and were inducted into the Aria Hall of Fame won so many awards and became a household name both here and overseas. The late lead singer's wife, Yama Yunapingu, spoke of Dr M as a builder of bridges between all races, a legend of Australian rock and roll. He was also a human rights advocate as well as a pioneer educator. As principal of Yedekala School, he had the vision to implement both ways education. He always talked about balance, Balance was his universal weapon, his message of hope, truth and peace. His unique vision extended further with the establishment of the Yothi Yindi Foundation, along with other clan members in 1990. And this foundation has presented the annual Gama Festival since 1999, a significant cross-cultural event which many of us have attended and learned from.